will be distinguished as a college that transforms the lives of its students and its communities. That is the LaGrange College vision statement. Transforms the lives of its students. Okay, that part is pretty clear. Thousands of LaGrange College graduates have gone on to spectacular careers. Dean Young draws the internationally popular comic strip, Blondie. Allie Grieve is a Broadway actress. And George Lankford is working on his doctorate in mathematics and plans to work for NASA. But LaGrange College transforms the lives of its students and its communities? What communities are they talking about? In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at three of the communities that LaGrange College serves. We'll find out about a brand new program that matches up some of the college's brightest students with charity organizations in order to serve the city of LaGrange. We'll see how a new Asian Studies course is improving business relationships in the greater West Georgia area. And we'll learn how, by working to prepare men and women to become successful, responsible citizens, LaGrange College transforms itself. The communities we serve on this edition of LaGrange College Presents. LaGrange College Presents. If your drive to work takes you down Vernon or Broad Streets in LaGrange, you've likely seen the sweeping change that's taken place there. The former dank, run-down Broad Street apartments have been beautifully restored and now serve as the home of LaGrange College's Servant Scholars Program, a new venture that will encourage truly motivated students to serve their community as part of a residential learning experience. Students go through a long application process in order to become Servant Scholars, and one of the first ones chosen was Mary Hannah Robertson. The Servant Scholars Program was created um, to, to really have this bond between the college and the community. A lot of us have been told, and, and it, for me it's, it's the, the single most important thing, that the metaphor about the Servant Scholars Program, and that is that we are placed exactly halfway between the town, the, the square, and the college. And that serves as the, the metaphor that we are the bridge between the town and the college, and that through service that's how we're going to going to build that bridge and serving the college through serving others. That's really my goal in, in just everything I do is to give back to this place because I would have never gotten the opportunity to be in a play. I would have never played soccer. I would have, I, biology, I would have never sought out that that was my intended major. I would have never found these, all these wonderful things that I have because of the college. This is my way of giving back. So when we saw it the first time, uh, President McAlexander, we were sitting outside. He's he really is a great motivator and, and really just, when we were standing outside the apartments, he really just spoke and it really sunk in how the meaning of the apartments and the metaphor that it kind of places on, for us and the, and the responsibility we have on our shoulders. We're the inaugural class and if we go in and just rock it and get through and, and make this a statement, then then it'll be, it'll be really wonderful and it'll be something that can be our legacy here and that's that's something that I'm looking forward to, that I've given the, been given the opportunity yet again by the college is to leave a legacy on, on the college and on the town. You've seen the banners all over town. LaGrange College transforms lives. Many people think that just means the lives of students. But LaGrange College transforms lives here, too, at the Kia Automotive plant outside West Point. 3,000 people work here but the economic impact is much wider, extending to supplier companies and other businesses catering to Kia and its employees. In an effort to help familiarize the West Georgia business community with the Korean culture and teach students more about working in a global economy, LaGrange College has established an Asian Studies program. Well, yeah, I think Asian Studies is actually um, absolutely um, essential to having you know, an understanding of the realities of the world we live in. If you think about the manufactured goods that we deal with on an everyday basis and where do they come from? We have China, right, Korea, uh, Japan as well. So you know, if you live in Troop County, you don't just live in Troop County, you live in a place that is connected to the entire world. 
combine that now with uh, uh, you know Diana Goldwire is setting up you know in, uh, she's setting up an internship program with one of the companies that's a supplier to Kia. They are looking for Lagrange students to be interns at their at their company, and they uh, specifically want people with a background in uh, Korean language and in uh, Korean history, society, and economics. They 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 really want that. So. We could talk about you know just being aware of the world, but also on a, on a real concrete basis, there are opportunities actually for employment right here in this region, uh, for people who have a background in Asian studies and East Asian languages. The Asian studies program is going to be a minor. Dr. Ahern is developing a new course on East Asian religions. Um, I, I have a course in the history department in introduction to East Asian history, and then uh, students will be able to take either a year-long sequence in Japanese, which we have already with uh, Mr. Suzuki or uh, we'll have um, uh, a one-year sequence of Korean language. The other courses that would be necessary to fill out the minor would be electives, and I've um, managed to get approval from, let's see, business, art, um, political science, and uh, religion, and art history, and I think that's about the English and modern languages. So you could take courses that have Asia-related content in a variety of different departments. So depending upon the student interest, you could do, for example, if you were to have a business major, then you could do an Asian Studies minor as well and have some of your coursework overlap. Um, and then you could, you could sort of uh, shape an Asian Studies minor to your particular interest. Researchers estimate that if current trends continue, 53.9% of Georgia adults will soon be classified as obese, up from 28% now. It's an epidemic that can be prevented, according to Dr. Chad Harris, newly hired coordinator of the exercise science major at LaGrange College. In addition to promoting the importance of keeping fit, exercise science offers new career options for athletes. Dr. Harris tells us more about the new program. Exercise science, really what we look at is, um, in general, how exercise affects the body from both an acute and a chronic perspective. So we'll look at how the body adapts to exercise. Uh, we'll look at how exercise is going to affect uh, people as they're, they're doing it. It deals with uh, sport performance, so human performance becomes a big, uh, big part of that too. Analyzing human motion, um, trying to find ways that we can enhance performance. Day-to-day -day living activities, if we look at older adults, how we can enhance their performance in just doing normal activities, that becomes part of it. So exercise science really looks at kind of enhancing human performance in a, in a realm of different ways. It's a major that when you graduate and when you're even going through it, you need to kind of give it some of that thought in terms of what is it that I really want to do and, and how can I prepare myself for those things. We'll offer a broad range of, of classes and topics and things that they cover like other majors do. Um, but, but we want to encourage them to find that, that special niche that they have within the field. I think it will provide a very nice major and, and because we have you know, a fitness wellness track and an allied health track depending on whether they want to go more into areas that are more allied health oriented such as physical therapy, occupational therapy or be within the um, fitness industry or strength and conditioning or those types of things, uh, we, we can provide for that. It's a blast building this program. I love it. I love putting a stamp on it and being able to do things and the support that I've gotten here has been incredible. You know, and it, what's exciting is to get the student that comes in thinking, oh, I, you know, that doesn't quite feel like they have the confidence and is kind of questioning whether they can do this or, you know, you know, I'm not good in math or I'm not good in anatomy and I'm having, I'm struggling with this and then all of a sudden they blossom. And, and they find you know, what it is that their passion is and they're in there and they want to work and they want to do things and there's nothing like it. I mean, that's, that's why I'm here is that I want to see the students just find that you know, joy and passion in what they're doing and, and carry the field further than I ever could. So. We've talked about how LaGrange College serves the Troop County and West Georgia communities. But closer to campus, each summer hundreds of high schoolers from all over the southeast, all over the world in fact, enroll as freshmen. This year's freshman class is an especially high-spirited one. Meet some of the newest members of the LaGrange College community. 
Okie dokie. Are you gonna edit this out and make me look good? Okay. Yeah, you can call me Alex. It's way easier to say. It's my middle name. Alex. Yeah. No, I'm from I'm from Guatemala. I'm Avery Shed. I'm from Decula, Georgia. My name's Shelby. I'm from Lagrange. My name is Cindy Hangley, and I'm from Noonan, Georgia. My name is Haley Ritchie. I'm from Warner Robins, Georgia, and I'm going to be a pharmacist. Volleyball. That's what brought me here. I'm trying to play soccer, which is my passion. I love to play soccer. I'm not only interested in, but I'm majoring in art and design here. I want to be an illustrator. I took psychology in high school, and it seems so much fun. And the thing that I want to do with it is like help with like families when they deal with issues, and maybe help with kids who have autism, like maybe find a cure. I was trying to think of something that had good job security, where you know. If I moved around, it wouldn't be hard to find a job, and people are always getting sick, so they're always going to need their medicine to come back, you know, there's a CVS on every corner these days, so it'd just be, it was really, and I love chemistry, and I love math, and so I figured, hey, let's try pharmacy. I'm really interested in photography and graphic design. I interviewed for a scholarship a couple months ago, and I got one of them. Uh, I'm going for business management. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit of accounting too, so yeah, I love accounting, it's like just math, numbers, money. When I got here, I was like completely blown away. I guess I wasn't nervous, but I had a lot of anticipation. I didn't know what was going to happen, I didn't know if I was going to like it. I felt completely at home. Uh, with the new people I met, I know, I know I can get really close to them, like a family. I guess I wasn't really worried about it because, you know, like, nobody knows me here, so if I wanted to act crazy and wild, they wouldn't know any different, you know, whatever. So I just kind of kept an open mind and so I was going to be myself and try to get to know as many people as I could before school actually started and then there might not be many opportunities to get amongst everybody. You know, you kind of want to build a few little friendships so when you get here you're not completely lost and you got to start from ground zero. So. Even just looking at the classes, like, um, I didn't know you could take Korean as a class, like as a, as a language, and my friend um, Sharon, I went to school with her, she's like, she's like Korean, she wants, to, she wants to do that, you know, that's like her hobby, her interest, but she can't even take that at Valdosta State where she's going, they don't offer Korean, so she's like, I hate you, you can take Korean and I can't, I'm like, well, <laughs> LaGrange College. <laughs> Great. One of the young people that you just met is typical of our new student community. She's smart, funny, a born leader, and bound for success in her chosen field. Take a closer look at Shelby Stevens. Of all things I've ever done, art's always been the most important. I'm from New York, New York. Um, I lived there until I was five, and then we moved to Grange, Georgia in 1999. My junior year of high school, that's when I really started to branch out. I started to just, like, just my imagination, just things, like, started to come to me. That's when I really discovered myself as an artist. My friends would be in those classes, and they'd be like, why is she drawing that? That's so stupid. That's so whatever. And on the contrary, people would, you know, they'd ask me. They'd be like, why, why do you do this? As opposed to, that's not art. That's not, that's, you know. So it, I kind of got both worlds with that. My, my self-portraits, I did a lot of those. For AP art, you choose a theme to tie around 12 of your pieces. So mine was monsters, and I chose it. My teacher didn't choose it. This piece, my inspiration was the Phantom of the Opera. This is me and my, con the concentration was organs. So I ended up just Googling organs and just scrolling and seeing what I could find. The pictures that I saw had a person in their profile with the lip notes. So I saw where each one was and I just put them there like stars. And then I connected them like constellations. I 
last year, my concentration was monsters, and I thought, okay, I gotta do, I'm gonna do the Cyclops. I knew they were really ugly, and of course I thought, well, how could I make myself look ugly? <laughs> so I, I took the reference picture as soon as I woke up one morning, and I was like, this is, this is my morning face. For this to be the thing that I do, the thing people know me for, that's the best feeling. Like to associate that with me, that's, it's very important to me. The day that people don't associate Shelby with art, that's like, who am I? So. The LaGrange College vision statement says, we will be distinguished as a college that transforms the lives of its students and its communities. And on this edition of LaGrange College Presents, we're examining a few of those communities. The faculty, staff, and students of LaGrange College have often been called a caring community. When one of their own suffers a letdown or a setback, it's everyone's concern. Case in point, Cody King, who began his college career on the Hill in 2011, brimming with excitement. Soon, however, something happened that changed everything. I have literally been barrel racing my entire life. By the time I was age five, I was at the National Barrel Horse Association Youth World Championships in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm the 2003 state uh, 3D champion um, and 2005 and 2010 uh, world finalist. I mean, I grew up on a farm. I have horses, goats, wallabies, kangaroos, rabbits, deer, dogs, cats, the basics. If someone has a stray animal, I'm the first one they call to find a new home for it. And that's what was really driving me to be a vet. I'm really hoping to get all my credentials and stuff here because I would ideally like to go to Auburn University for vet school. In high school, I did track and field, baseball, basketball, uh, cheerleading, and tennis, and cross country. And I'm hopefully try I'm trying out for the tennis team here. I'm debating if I want to do it for cheerleading here or not. I want to I want to be the one to break the status quo of oh only girls do cheerleading. I'm a guy, I like cheerleading, I have school spirit, and I'm not afraid, I'm proud of myself. Well, when I was here during the fall semester, my mom was diagnosed with a rare sarcoma cancer in her heart, and it's, I didn't want to take a break from college, but I was not able to meet the academic demanding schedule that LaGrange here has, so I transferred to Columbus State University for my spring semester. And she, I, I was able to easily stay home more with her and do my classwork there, and once she got better on her uh, excuse me, track better, getting better with herself. Um, this summer I was like, okay, I want to go back to LaGrange. And she said, I want you to as, as well. I don't want you having to get heat back from what you're wanting to do because I'm sick. So it was a real, it was a, honestly a hard process for me to get back into LaGrange because the classes I took at CSU, they're not the standards that LaGrange has. But um, I've come back and I have my mindset on what I'm doing now. I'm more focused. I kind of have the drive because my mom wants me to do this and finish college regardless of what her future may be. So that's and I'm, that's the reason, main reason I'm in college is for my mom because I'm the first in my family to go to college. They said there's no chance it's going to go into remission, but I have great, that's one reason I'm, I make LaGrange trying to strengthen my faith. I want to get uh, make my connection with God better. I fully rely on him in this situation. He's got a reason for it. I understand that. If I don't understand it, that's his choice, but I just want to strengthen my faith with him to help comfort me and my family to get through this. Like the people I've met here, the faculty, the every, nearly every faculty member I got to know here at LaGrange, every time they see me, they ask, how's your mom doing and how are you doing? And they actually take time to stop and everyone knows you on a personal level. And it's really great to know that you got sort of an extended family while you're away from home. A short but active list of fraternities and sororities form one of the most important communities on the LaGrange College campus, the Greek community. These are young men and women who strive for excellence while making lifelong bonds. Each chapter raises hundreds of dollars for charity each year. And no one represents the Greek community better than Tiffany Dillard. All right, well, I'm Tiffany Dillard. Um, I'm from Peachtree City, Georgia, which is right around the corner. And basically, my life includes AOPI, lacrosse, and Latin America. I got to go with Dr. Pascal and a group of 11 fellow students and it was an amazing experience. I was so thankful that LaGrange gave us the opportunity to go because it's not an open island. It's um, 
mostly for research. So the fact that we got to go and walk around where Darwin got to walk and scuba dive, it was incredible. Like it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. It's Peachtree City Christian Church. It's my home church. And we actually do a mission trip to Guatemala every summer. And this year we went and we built three houses for underprivileged families which was an amazing experience. We got to bond with the families for the 10 days that we were there. It's always nice to go and you know help people, but it's also, it was a mission for me too, because I got to see you know my hands actually helping people. Entranced by the sport, because it's fast paced and it's brutal and it's, it's a war sport pretty much. And so I got the opportunity to play in high school and then at the end of my senior year, I was like, I can't give this up. It's my passion, you know, I have to continue. And luckily, LaGrange started a program. My, it was going to be my freshman year. So it was perfect timing, like God put everything in place. And so I came here and our first season was my freshman year. Didn't do so hot. But after that, we have really picked up, you know, we've got some great leadership. And so we're doing pretty amazing things in the lacrosse program. I'm very excited to be a part of it. At the end of the recruitment week, you know, I made a connection with my big sister and I was like, okay, I'll go AOPI, you know, make it happen, make everyone happy. And after I sistered, I found this amazing group of girls with the same morals that I have, the same standards that I have, and it's this group of women who encouraged me to be a better person. And like, that's exactly what I needed. You know, you need a family away from home. And so the fact that I found that kind of by accident is amazing to me. And the fact that they like chose me to lead them, it really touches my heart. And you know, it gives me so much more confidence just because I never have like seen myself as a leader. But the fact that they brought out those traits in me and encouraged me to, you know, better myself, it's, Definitely, it's something to be proud of, I feel. The opportunities that I've had at LaGrange College have completely made me the woman who I am today. Whenever I got here, I was kind of timid, shy, didn't really speak out in class, but through the professors and the people who I've met here, I've just really blossomed. I know that's kind of crazy to say, but I'm a lot more confident. I. I'm not afraid to talk to people. You know, I'm super involved in campus. I've got my hand in a little bit of everything. And it's just, it's crazy how coming here to LaGrange has affected my life so completely. Like even my little sister came to school here because she saw the change that happened from freshman year and senior year. So yeah, it's definitely been a life altering experience, but in the best way possible. We've seen how the college transforms lives on campus, in the city of LaGrange, and in the West Georgia area. But does it stop there? Does LaGrange College transform lives all over the United States, all over the world? Yes. The LaGrange College Nursing Program supplies top-notch medical professionals to hospitals in Atlanta, Birmingham, the Carolinas, and to mission fields at home and abroad. 100% of our nursing students pass their state board exams on the first try. That's why future nurses, like Rose Noel, transfer to LaGrange. My name is Rose. I'm a current senior here at LaGrange College. Um, I am originally from Haiti, and I live in Potter Springs, Georgia. I transferred from University of West Georgia last year. I transferred because one, I was accepted into this nursing program, and also the fact that they had a 100% NCLEC passing rate. I thought this would be the perfect place because you're well prepared. Haiti, I, although it's portrayed as not the most beautiful place in the world, but I had great experiences there. And I went to pre-K there, kindergarten there. I was taught Creole first because then that's just the dialect at home, but in school settings you had to speak French because it's more proper and more formal and educated. So I had to learn both and we could use Creole outside the school and French in the school and um, we're taught basic English um, as a course, but then I don't think it was beneficial <laughs> when I came here because I only knew how to say hi, bye, and my name is. Initially, I wanted to be a pediatrician, but um, 
By the time I made it to high school, I settled in more with more pediatric nurse because I thought it was more direct care. Here, when I have, it's about 36, 35 of us. We feel like more of a family because we spend so much time together. We have classes two to four hours together, three times a week. And the professors are very helpful because then they have the open door policy and you can talk to them with whatever's overwhelming you and whatever questions you have and they actually care. We're still doing clinicals up to this semester. Um, we have, we started in a nursing home to the hospital and to the different units in the hospital and now we've moved on to a lot of the skills we've practiced in lab to actually doing them now versus watching videos about them. <laughs> um, I want to go to Atlanta, preferably um, Eggleston. Um, Scottish Rite I am open to, but considering as a new grad and it's high on demand, I will take anywhere with children. LaGrange College serves one more community, the parents of its students. Joey Hennessy and his wife Lou live in Douglas, Georgia. They began nurturing their daughter Laura's obvious love for the theater early on by taking her to stage plays in Atlanta. When it came time to choose a college, they knew Laura needed a place where she could train to be an actor, a place that would give her stage experience, teach her the business of theater, and provide her voice training for a future career that would include musical theater. They chose LaGrange. Laura Lee Hennessy. We could not be prouder of her and the experience she's had here and, and just the fact that it turned out to be the best place that she could have chosen to go to. From the time she got here, fall semester, her first year, she was in uh, cast in Little Shop. She and two other freshmen uh, were in that, in that play. And from then, every year she's had some wonderful opportunities. And this last year, her senior year, you know, she had the opportunity to uh, be in the Philadelphia story, which was a dream of hers always, you know, to play the role of Tracy Lord. She's had the opportunity to play everything from light musical comedy, Lerner and Lowe, to the heaviest uh, sort of dramatic roles, uh, Chekhov. It's been, I say again, a wonderful opportunity for her, and this school is blessed to have faculty of the caliber of Kim Barbano and Tony Anderson faculty that is dedicated to helping the child be the very best person that they can be. They'll spend extra time with them and do whatever is necessary to, to challenge the child's mind as their souls are being nourished. <laughs> and that can be a little, a little frightening for a student because I know Certainly. many times she would call me and I remember saying, well, just, you're just going to have to tell them that you need some help. And, and just go and tell them that's what they're there for and they'll help you. Don't, don't be afraid, don't be embarrassed, just go up and say, you know, I need some help. Most folks are not going to be familiar with CAP 21. I wasn't. Among their more recent graduates are Lady Gaga, Anne Hathaway, and Kristen Bell. So it is, it's an exclusive and very prestigious program. And there's no doubt in my mind that Laurel would never have had access to that if she hadn't had the benefit of her wonderful educational training. And we'll always be grateful for the training and uh, the wonderful teachers and professionals she's had here that's encouraged her to be who she is and to become who she will be. We recommend LaGrange College without reservation. LaGrange College will be distinguished as a college that transforms the lives of its students and its communities. What communities are they talking about? Here, the student community is challenged and inspired through rigorous academic study and a rich, vibrant campus life. Special study programs give back to the city of LaGrange. New academic courses benefit the greater West Georgia business community. And a first-rate nursing program transforms lives all over the world. You're invited to find out more about LaGrange College and the communities it serves by visiting lagrange.edu.